All right, I wanted to work out 103 with you guys because it was requested, um, and I know I checked this for homework. So, kind of freebie for those of you that want to make that 304. Um, finding the inverse, are getting a lot of practice with this. Uh, first move, rewrite as y. Uh, most of you guys have no problem there. Then we switch the x and the y. Um, and you're pretty good here, too. Um, the issues I'm seeing are not with the moves, but the order in which you do the moves. All right, so we got to get the goal here is to get y along. I can't deal with any of this in the middle until I get rid of that cube. So we are going to cube each side to get rid of the cube root. And that will give us um, x equals two x cubed equals two minus one. And the rest is algebra. We'll add one to each side. x cubed plus one equals two y. And the last move, divide by two. And our final answer, we'll write it this way. F inverse of x is equal to x cubed plus 1 divided by 2 and that whole thing's over 2. Most of you didn't have a problem on A. Um, you can see we're kind of taking SADMIP back, we're doing SADMIP, we're taking PEMDAS backwards, exponents, then um, actually then the subtraction and then the division at the end. Alright, let's look at B. So for B, this is the one I checked. Same move at the beginning. I'm going to do it up top. We have y equals 1 half, x minus 3 plus 1. Switch the x and the y. It's going to give us x equals 1 half, y minus 3 plus 1. All right, now the job is to isolate y. And the first move is we got to subtract the 1. x minus 1 equals 1 half y minus 3. All right, now a lot of you wanted to go in there and move that 3. You cannot move that 3 until you get rid of this 1 half. So we could divide by 1 half, but a better move is actually to multiply by its reciprocal, so we get rid of the fraction, which would be multiplying by 2 over 1. We multiply by 2 over 1 each side, same thing as multiplying by 2. These 2's cancel and the 1's cancel, so we're just multiplying the reciprocal. Now... We have, um, well, probably some of you did this. 2x minus 2, we distribute, equals y minus 3. And now the last move, this is simplifying it, is to add 3, add 3 to each side. This will cancel. The final answer here is g inverse of x is equal to 2x plus 1. That's the simplified form. Now, some of you left it in the HK um, and left it as 2 times x minus 1 plus 3. That's um, probably easier to graph. That would look like this 2 times x plus, oops, excuse me, x minus 1 plus 3. Go to the right and then up. Um, either way, it's the right answer, just a different form. All right. Last one, part C. All right, this is going to be getting get a little tricky. So switch your x and your y. I'll rewrite first, I guess. 2x, 3 over 2, fractional exponent. I haven't talked about this much. You've had some homework problems that look like it. We will get more practice, especially in Chapter 3, but it's good to see it now. So now you have x equals 2y to the 3 over 2. All right, first move, we got to divide by 2. Don't even touch the exponent yet. So we have x over 2, these twos cancel, equals y to the 3 over 2. Now, um, how we get rid of this 3 over 2 is we actually multiply it by its reciprocal as an exponent. I know this might seem strange, but it follows the same kind of rules as multiplication. So these twos cancel and the threes cancel. So we're left with, final answer would be h inverse of x equals x over 2, all of this, to the 2 over 3. 
which is the same thing as the inverse of x, which is equal to x over 2, um, the cube root, and all of this, all of this, is squared. So you'll notice that the 2 is at the top, that's our squared, and the 3 is on the bottom, that's our cube. Um, they're actually the same <coughs> expression or same answer, just a different form. This is um, radical form, and then this is fractional exponent. Okay, but they mean the same thing. We'll be talking about that more when we get to chapter 3 with logs and exponents.